Okay, so today we're going to be looking at triangles. Now, we've learned so far that inside a circle is 360 degrees. We also know that inside a half circle is 180 degrees. Now, if we look at the angles of a triangle, we know they add up to 180 degrees. But why? If we look at a square, we see that all the angles add up to 360 degrees. Now, if we take a look at the differences between our square and our triangle, we see that our square has four corners, while our triangle has three corners. If we put our square and our triangle inside a circle, we see that the square intersects at four different points in the circle. If we divide 360 by 4, we get 90 degrees, which makes sense because each of the angles inside the square is 90 degrees. If we try to do the same with the triangle, we get a number that doesn't make much sense. Now if we stretch our triangle a little bit and put it inside a half circle, we can see something a lot more interesting. We can see now that the triangle is intersecting the circle at three different points. Now if we divide the amount of degrees in our half circle, which is 180 by 3, we get 60 degrees. Which is interesting because 60 degrees is the amount of degrees in each angle of an equilateral triangle. If we take our half circle and our triangle, and we duplicate it and flip it over, we see that we have made another square inside a circle, which is 360 degrees.